faces of disappointment. Well, we've been sitting out at DFW Airport for, I don't know, it seems like all day. It's been many hours. And because they can't the flight, we're not getting on our flight. Non-revenue we were, now we're revenue is for tomorrow, because we had to buy tickets. So now we're not getting, so the World Series is not starting off the way that we want to. We're not even coming in now until Saturday morning. Definitely not the start we were looking for. Hey there, poker peeps. Welcome to a quick update on our World Series of Poker uh, adventure. First time ever that we're staying in an Airbnb, or at least me, and it's relatively nice. We've been making food. There's some meatballs I made, and here's our bedroom. It's a big, big bed, right, Benny? Big bed. Is it comfy? It's the big comfy bed, like the big comfy couch in the old days. So, it's a pretty nice Airbnb. It's a lot less expensive than the hotel. There's a pool, there's a workout room. That's looking toward the strip. The inside looks toward the Rio. So I would say so far for the first two days, the theme has been a little bit of run bad, one bad play, but <laughs> We're not running so hot right now. So I thought I would just tell you about one or two hands in each of the tournaments or cash sessions that we played in. All right, we finally arrived. We are here at the World Series of Poker in the Rio. About to go register for the Millionaire Maker. Me and Billy Willy. Finally got here for the Millionaire Maker. The Millionaire 124.3. Here we go. Let's go. From the Millionaire Maker, it's about 34,000 chips and blinds at, uh, one and two, I raised it to like 800 with pocket aces. The big blind called, the flop came 10 8 2. I uh, bet, continuation bet, about 1200. He made the call. The turn was a three. I bet about 1700. He made the call. The river, though, was another 10. It did go check, check, so at least I didn't lose too many chips there. Um, but that was the beginning of the end. My bust out hand. Lines were 300, 600, 600. The hijack makes a 2,000 cutoff calls. I make the call to set mine and the super loose aggressive maniac on the button shoves all in cut off a hijack and cut off call uh, fold so now i'm debating what do i do this guy's range is absolutely guy gigantic he's doing this with anything i've got to be ahead nearly every time so i make the call i'm sorry i shove all in he absolutely snap calls with Ace Queen offsuit. So I'm ahead. Flop comes Jack 7 4, yay me. But the turn is a queen. Ouch. River's a nine, and I'm out of the millionaire maker. So this decision with the nines was a huge decision, and I tanked for a long time. Uh, a cash game would have been easy. Snap call, no problem at all. But in a tournament, especially a $1,500 tournament, do I want to be in with a thin edge? Uh, I eventually decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. I didn't really have uh, that many chips and so I decided to go for it. I don't think it was wrong. I think you could easily say that folding would have been okay also. The guy hit the queen and he said, you gotta win flips and he's exactly right. Unfortunately, I didn't win that flip. Uh, he went on, I went home to the crying basin. I did play the cash game at the Orleans, so soft over there. It was just a 1-3 game. It's kind of a relaxing game where you don't have to be mentally taxing. Uh, so we went over there, I ended up winning $500. Uh, I did have quad jacks, 
Uh, Quad Jacks paid me a whopping bonus of $25. <laughs> if it had been Quad Deuces, it would have been worth $2,600. It's funny because Billy and I played at the same table. Billy got pocket deuces five times to try and hit the $2,600. <laughs> he never even flopped a set once. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, I forgot, about dang near forgot. <laughs> I also played in a tournament at the Orleans. When we first got there, there was a $250 tournament with a $100 bounty. We jumped in that. I got absolutely nothing going. I had one good hand. So I was third shortest in chips with about 18 big blinds. I don't even remember what the blinds were, but the two shorties in front of me both shoved. I have pocket jacks. I shove, comes around to the big stack. He hems and hauls tanks and folds. So I'm in against Ace King and Ace Queen. I have pocket jacks, and the flop comes Jack Six Six. <laughs> Can't doesn't get any better than that. I got two bounties. That was pretty much it for the bounty tournament. I finished 55th out of 165. No money. I got two bounties. It is what it is. Fire in the double stack Miranda room. Table 622, seat six. I go. So in the double stack, I literally did not win a hand for the first three levels. We also did not have a player bust on our table for until the 10th level, which is really interesting. I also got a really, really tough table draw on the double stack. There was one or two players who were pretty soft and the rest of them were really good. I had a live at the bike pro there. The guy to my left was a Famous pro, I can't remember his name, but I certainly recognized him. Uh, and there was a number of other really aggressive, darn good players. But I did get the first knockout at our table with blinds at 600, 1200, 1200. I was in the big blind with jack of clubs, nine of hearts, and I had 44K. So the under the gun who only has 12,000 makes it 2600. I make the call. The flop with 8200 in the pot comes nine, six, deuce. He shoves all in. I call. He has ace queen. The board runs out with a jack and a deuce. And I get the first knock out of the table. I went up to like 57,000, which would have been like third at the table. So at that point, I was doing okay. I then lost a couple of hands where I raised continuation bet. Didn't hit anything or somebody raised me and I couldn't continue. And then I made my one big mistake that I've made here. This is bad. I got knocked out on this hand. So blinds are 800, 1600, 1600. I have pocket queens in the cutoff and I have 34,000. I think this is a little bit too much to shove and I'd sure like to get a little bit of value out of pocket queens. So I make it 3600 from the cutoff. The button calls a very good pro and the blinds fold. So the flop with 11,200 comes jack of clubs, six of clubs, four of diamonds. I lead out for 4200 and he makes the call. So when he calls here, I certainly think he could have a jack. He could be on clubs. Um, he doesn't have very many five sevens or three fives. He played relatively tight. Of course, he could have sets of fours or sixes also. So the turn with 19,600 in the pot is another jack. And here I made a huge mistake. I let out for 7,200. Oh, it almost commits me later on. Uh, he makes the call. So now there's 34,000 in the pot. I only have 19,000 left. Ugh. But the river is a two of diamonds, so it does give me hope. Uh, again, another mistake. I let into him. I shoved all in for 19K. He calls. I ask him, do you have a jack? He says, nope, because he has pocket sixes for a full house. So actually, the second jack should have saved me. I should still be playing with 26,000 chips. Just a bad, bad mistake. The jack saved me. I should have stopped right there. Uh, if that comes another low card, okay, then it's okay to get it all in there. And if he has me beat, he has me beat. But when the jack comes, really a poor, poor play by me. Really the first really poor play that I've made. But it only takes one or two, and you are gonzo, dunzo. Bye-bye. I don't know. Maybe I was tired. I certainly was not thinking correctly because uh, I would normally never do that. So just a little brain blip there. But after 
two days of tournament and cash play. I am over two on the tournaments and I'm up around 600 and some dollars in the cash game. Hey, it's about midnight. I'm at the Rio. My son just made the final table of the daily with 25K up top. Uh, good for him, 21 year old kid. So I'm going to sweat him. Billy's on the final table of the 240 daily right there. Nine players left. So I'm kind of sweating him a little bit. Gosh darn it, Billy just got knocked out seven. Guy shoved all in on the button. Billy's on the small blind with pocket eights. He makes the call, big blind folds. The guy had shoved with jack three. And Billy had pocket eights. King 10, seven, four, jack. So ridiculous. Tell him how you're feeling. Are you mad? Are you happy? Are you angry? Obviously not happy. Not happy. He came in seven. In? The daily deep stack. We should have done a lot better. I don't know what, what you want me to say. Well, are you angry? Do you want to punch something? Are you no, mad? Are I'm you... just a little frustrated. My buddy Stone was in 108th place in the Millionaire Maker on day 1B. He has 185,000 chips. Rob, who started off so great, did bag, but only for 31,000, so he's, he's a shorty. But good luck to both of you guys. I hope you guys crush it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that little update. Had a few hands in it. And we will continue to update you guys. Watch us on Instagram. Hopefully one of us will hit a big one. Billy was very, very close on uh, the daily. I'm playing in the seniors, which I've done really well at the first two times. Uh, Rob and Stone are playing. And we're all capable. We just got to get a little run good. And we will do it. So thanks for watching and subscribing and pressing buttons. Look for updates in the next couple of days, and I will see you soon. Be blessed. Bye.